Roblox finally fixed this really odd bug that has been in the game forever. The star program is open and uh, people are getting banned instantly and automatically just by saying something in chat once again. But before I get into all that and more, I'm gonna ask you to subscribe because for every five subs I get, I will pet my cat. Anyways, let's get to the video because there's actually a lot of news I wanna talk about today with the first story being something that's not that big of a deal, but it is something that's worth talking about, okay? And it is basically just some Roblox updates that have been added to the platform that I think are mid, to be honest. Honest, but I think they're worth mentioning because the first update in question is this right here with visualization nodes in Roblox studio creators can now quickly toggle various debug modes and visualizations in Roblox studio to speed up and augment workflows now I have no clue what this means but I think what it means is it actually just like shows you uh like certain things in Roblox like if that makes any sense like you can see in this screenshot you can see like a bunch of lines going through stuff you can basically see like wireframes of stuff and there's also like a bunch of check boxes that you can enable so I I guess this is good for like debugging and s stuff like that if you're a developer this probably is cool uh i i i just don't get it i don't get it that much if we go to the dev forum post there's probably a lot of people excited about this because it is it's seemingly a big deal i guess you could turn on specific things that like highlight anchored parts and like certain types of parts that's pretty cool okay now that i like have read the dev forum post i understand what's going on here and this is actually pretty cool <laughs> uh but sadly as you can see here it was temporarily rolled back <laughs> and they said hey all we are unfortunately temporarily rolling back this feature while we investigate some performance and stability issues we will be sure to update it when we re-enable it thank you for your patience and understanding so yeah this update is pretty dang cool but sadly you can't use it anymore because there was like some bugs with it i guess l but whatever because now we can move on to the next story, which also is, you know, for developers. It seems like uh, Roblox is adding new materials pretty frequently. Now, I don't know if I've seen these before. Uh, I, I think I might have, actually. So maybe these are old and they were just in beta and now they're, like, fully out. But basically, Bloxy News tweeted out this. These eight new base materials are now pushed into production beta. Each of these new base materials introduce corresponding physical behaviors. You can change their appearance and physical properties by creating material variants. So yeah, I guess a lot of these uh, textures also have different ways. I believe, which is pretty cool. But uh, I mean, it's nothing new for Roblox, I don't think. But uh, yeah, they just added some new textures. That's it. Very small, very tiny story. But now we can move on to the next story, which is actually really interesting. And it's this brand new ads update. So apparently Roblox is going to be introducing a new ad format to the platform, which uh, I think is quite interesting. Let me show you. So Bloxy News tweeted out this. Introducing search ads, a new Roblox ad format used to promote your experiences to users who are actively searching for experiences or genre of experiences using specific keywords. And I wonder how effective these ads are going to be because usually when you use the search bar on Roblox, you kind of like are looking for a specific game in mind. You don't really just search Roblox for like genres of games anymore because it's kind of impossible to do so unless they fixed it and i just haven't realized let me check let me search up first person shooter in in experiences okay i got like gunfight arena unnamed shooter you know just a bunch of actual fps games that's pretty interesting okay maybe they did fix it all right maybe i'm stupid maybe these ads are actually gonna be like the best way to advertise your roblox game who knows but yeah basically whenever you search stuff you now might have a possibility of seeing sponsored games at the top of your search results uh i don't know if this is a bad update i think it's completely fine to be honest i just wonder how effective this is going to be for developers like is this actually going to be an effective way to like market and advertise your game i guess we'll have to see with time but as you can see here's the dev forum post that kind of just goes through exactly what this update is but yeah looking through all of these dev forum posts a lot of people are a bit uh iffy about this this whole update they kind of don't know if it's going to be that good but a lot of people also are, are saying that it's pretty positive so i guess we'll just see what happens with time i don't think this is actually added to the website yet i think this is just an announcement of this being added soon oh no it's just starting today and this was two days ago so yeah this is actually on the website for some people i guess but now we can move on to the next story which just happens to be this huge bug that has finally been passed patched on Roblox or is being patched soon. So basically, Bloxy News tweeted out this. With Roblox release 638, particle effects will no longer show and cover your screen when zooming into first person camera mode. Now, if you don't know, this has been a problem on Roblox since I think the dawn of time. Like ever since Roblox started releasing particle hats, which by the way, I think was like 2009 or something. There's always just been a problem with whenever you like go into first person, you can see the particle effects. Now, granted, before like, I don't know, the past two years, this hasn't really been a huge problem because there hasn't really been that many particle hats on Roblox. But as of the past two years, Roblox has been going crazy with 
particle hats. And uh, now, as you can see, it's becoming a very common issue for a lot of people. Here's like a video example that I'm stealing from Bloxy News, where they kind of just show that when you go to first person, you uh, have a lot of particles all over your screen because they are wearing like the core blocks package as well as like some event wings and stuff like that. And it kind of just gets in the way, dude. But apparently, Roblox is working on fixing this because they have like a roadmap for their updates and whatnot. And this is listed in it. It says, changes to default camera script to hide particle emitters, beams, trails, fire, smoke, and explosions that are parented within the character when zooming into first person, which is actually awesome, dude. That's that's awesome. Now, I, I do think this might break some things. Uh, Like, I have made a couple games in the past where I've put particle emitters inside of the character. And uh, now I guess those particles won't show, uh, which kind of sucks. But either way, the main thing is that it is fixed, okay? And that that's, I'd say the bigger issue is being fixed here. But now we can move on to the next story, which is just people getting banned automatically for saying the kissy emoji. Now, this is something I talked about a while ago, but before, you actually had to be, like, reported to get banned from this. But now, it seems like as, as soon as you say this in the chat, you have a chance of getting banned. Now, I think they did patch this because I did go into a private server and try this myself to see if I could get banned automatically for just saying these emojis. But no, I didn't get banned. I even tried reporting myself but that didn't really work because you can't really report yourself so but either way i didn't personally get banned but i saw a whole thread of people testing this out themselves and getting banned such as this right here that says roblox censored the following emoji sending this in roblox chat will get you warned slash banned for dating slash romantic reasons the bot will detect this emoji in chat and will ban you for using it and they say that someone was in a private server just saying this in the chat because i guess they were recording a tiktok or whatever and uh, they got banned for it which is interesting and i saw this and i was like oh interesting you know i've seen stuff like this but usually you have to get like reported whenever you said that to get banned but this person was claiming that you didn't need to get reported you could literally just say it in a private server and get banned for it so then i went into the comments to see if anyone else had this experience and it seems like a lot of other people tried to test this themselves and also got banned <laughs> as you can see lucas tweeted out this thing goaded with a picture of his band note basically just saying uh, roblox does not permit dating or romantic exchanges between avatars with the reason being him saying breh with a like a mode and yeah you can see that that, that lucas isn't the only other person that got banned through this there's a bunch of other people that also got banned here so yeah i guess you don't even need to get reported to be banned this way but it does seem like roblox has rolled back this update because i personally couldn't get banned this way and i haven't seen anyone else complain about getting banned through this method uh since it blew up on twitter you know yeah either way be careful using certain emojis in roblox because a lot of them uh, could be considered romantic or dating and uh yeah you might get banned <laughs> but now we can talk about the price floor updates because in my last video i I talked about how the roblox price floor was changing pretty frequently and as you can see nine minutes ago the roblox price floor has updated once again and uh it's not looking too good because hats are up 10 robux hairs are up five robux faces are, are down 10 robux but they're still 75 oh my god and yeah you can read the rest of these it, it doesn't look that good but yeah as you can see the price floors are now back to updating on a daily basis almost which is uh kind of annoying now i do want to say though that yesterday hats went down 20 robux as you can see in this tweet here, and it got 500 likes. People saw hats go down 20 Robux and got so hyped. But as you can see, a day later, it instantly got destroyed because, uh, yeah, they went back up 10. <laughs> now we can talk about the last story, which just happens to be the Video Star Program opening. So I didn't talk about this in my last video because I just simply forgot about it. But basically, the Video Star Program is now open to be joined once again. And the reason this is such a big deal is because the Roblox Star Program closed all the way back last year in, I think, August. And uh, basically, they said that the star program would be opening back up in april of this year but as you can tell uh it is uh august so they're kind of late here guys <laughs> um but either way it doesn't matter because it is now open. and if you are a youtuber or tiktok creator that meets the criteria you can now apply to the video star program uh actually on their website which is new because before you had to just email them and and hope that they responded to you but now they have like an actual application form which is pretty cool but either way yeah that's gonna off the star program it's pretty cool that it's back open.